Hey guys, what is up? Alex Scott here with Concertini.com. Thank you so much for checking out another one of our super cool studio gear reviews. Got another plug-in review for you today. Um, probably going to be a bit of a quicker one. We are taking a look at the Noisemaker from Tau Software. Now, big shout out to Tau. Uh, they are having us review a bunch of their plugins, and they actually sent me some licenses for their premium plugins. Um, we had reviewed their vocoder, which is another one of their free plugins a couple of months ago. They enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed making it, and I love their vocoder. I use it all the time, but they got in touch and said, hey, we'd love for you to check out some of our other stuff, send me some licenses. So we're taking a look at a bunch of Tal's plugins and they are awesome. I'm super happy with everything that they've sent over and we're super, super grateful. Thank you guys so much for sending the licenses our way. Much appreciated. I'm looking forward to working a lot of these plugins into my workflow. But today we are taking a look at Noisemaker. Now Noisemaker is kind of a, a more basic synth plugin. It is, as I said, one of their free plugins and it's going to be really quite a strong straightforward plugin um, for those who are a little bit more new to synthesis because it is relatively straightforward and simple. So just looking at it, I'll just run through the features real quick and then we'll check out some of the presets that come with it. It does come with a ton of really great sounding presets, which is very, very cool. Uh, but we have two primary oscillators. We have an LFO. We have this master section where we can blend our oscillators and, you know, engage ring mod, which modulates the two oscillators together, portamento, all that kind of stuff. Global Tune, Transpose, which is always a handy feature. Then opening up this Synth 2 panel, um, we have a second LFO. We have a basic filter, um, cutoff resonance, everything you would expect, and an attack envelope, all easy stuff. We also have a graphical envelope editor, which I really like. That always lets you get some really fun sounds and offers you a lot of great control over shaping your envelopes. And then we have this control section, which allows us to um, kind of control how velocity mapping works, pitch wheel, all this kind of stuff. We also have some cool like vintage noise emulation, um, which gives it a little bit more of an analog vibe, how much we're driving our filters, um, which can help affect the sound of the filter. We do have the chorus from the Juno, the Roland Juno, their emulation of that analog chorus, which is a great sounding, very well-known chorus. We have a built-in reverb. We have a bit crusher, which is kind of a unique feature that directly affect, uh, affects our two main oscillators. And then we do have an analog delay built in as well. So it's pretty full featured, but it's also not too crazy in terms of, you know, having tons and tons and tons of different things going on. It's very easy to get acquainted with quickly. It's very uh, simple to use. And like I said, uh, is going to be a great option for beginners who want to learn a little bit more about synthesis because it is so simple in how it's laid out. It's easy to understand. There's not all kinds of patching or anything like that. It's going to be uh, great for guys who want to kind of get to know the basic components of a synthesizer in plugin format um, and kind of work with them, experiment with them and learn how to make some basic patches. But as I always say in my synth videos, you know, I'm not a synth expert or a synth wizard. Uh, and I know a lot of guys out there aren't. It is a complicated topic. So I always really appreciate it when a plugin developer like Tao includes a ton of really great uh, presets. And they absolutely have done that here. There's a lot of really, really great sounds um, that just come with it. There's a ton, actually. And they're all laid out really, really nicely. We've got pads, we've got leads, we've got more kind of keyboard, quote unquote, sounds, FX sounds, drum sounds, bass sounds, ARPs. It's all really, really nicely laid out in here. Um, very, very easy to navigate. So let's just go through and uh, let's check out some pads first. I'm always a big fan of the pads. It's a great sounding synth. Very nice simple pad. Kind of a bell pad there. Big trancer. Oh. I've got my uh, MIDI controller over here, which is why I keep looking over here, but... Very nice kind of swelly pad. Bionic, which almost has like a, a step filter. Gated filter kind of a thing. Here's bit orchestra. Nice, rich, kind of a string-like pad. Bursting pad. Cool, more of kind of a sound effect type thing. Let's listen to some leads real quick. Let's check out ringing lead. 
That's crazy. Sci-fi organ. Indeed. Shiver stab. That's cool. That's got like an 80s, almost a DX7 kind of FM synth sound to it. Very nice and metallic. I like that. Shutter lead. Ooh. Also very cool. Plutonium. Very trancy. Power lead. Ooh, that's a nice big unison. I really, really like that. It also does have a ton of effects presets, so this is going to be a really great synth if you're doing like sound design type stuff or want things that are a little bit more out there. Kind of sci-fi type sounds. That was Jumper. This is Alien Storm. <laughs> Very classic 80s horror sci-fi type stuff. And there's, of course, features all through here where we can sync. You know, this one has sync activated, so we're syncing to our session BPM. Uh, it's just, a, it's a really, really great, very full-featured synth. You know, there's a lot of options in here. There's a lot of drum options, too, which I really, really like. Here's a 8-bit kick. Which is pretty cool. There's some chord patches as well. It'd be great for your house and trance type stuff. Oh yeah. It's classic, like uh, <laughs> jock jams kind of a sound. Nice, minor. So yeah, there's just a ton of great stuff in here. You know, like I was saying, I love it when manufacturers include a lot of really, really great presets. It lets you jump in and just start working with stuff right off the bat. And for somebody like me who really does a lot of more kind of commercial production type stuff, you know, I don't always have time in a session to sit here and really mess around with stuff, you know? So it's always very, very handy to have a lot of great useful presets that are well organized. So I can just find something that sounds pretty close, maybe tweak it a little bit if I need to, and then it's it's off to the races. Uh, it definitely saves a lot of time. If you guys are looking for kind of a more basic, cover all synth plugin that not only sounds great and is very easy to use, but is also going to be a good opportunity for you to get acquainted with some of these basic building blocks of synthesis. You know, like I said, it's, this is really all it is right here. You know, we have the envelope editor and that's very cool, but the bulk of your synthesis is, is all happening right here. So it's easy to understand. It's easy to learn. And it has a lot of the same features that you're going to see on a lot of classic vintage analog synths and other synth plugins. So if you can get acquainted with this, get familiar with these kind of basic building blocks, um, then you're going to be in great shape as you move on to bigger and better and more full-featured uh, software synthesizers or hardware synthesizer for that matter in the future. So all around a really, really great synth plugin. Absolutely love it. Not something I'm probably going to use a ton because I have so many different options. You know, if I'm going for more of a vintage kind of a thing, I like to use emulations of specific units, but I still think it's a great sounding synth and it's going to be great for people to learn with as well. So definitely very cool. If it sounds like something you're, you're into, I definitely recommend checking it out. But what do you guys think? Do you have other kind of more basic synth plugins that you guys enjoy using? Whatever your thoughts may be, definitely leave them in the comments down below. Always appreciate hearing from you. If you have not yet, definitely subscribe to the channel, smash that notification bell to stay up to date with our channel as we post new content. And if you want to give this video a like or a share, that always helps a ton too. Much appreciated. Again, my name is Alex Scott with Concertini.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.